Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lee J, and we are going to listen to some music today. That is right. We are going to check out one of the most famous, famous with a T at the end. We are going to check out one of the most famous sibling bands ever, brother sister bands. That's right. We're going to check out their Carpenters. I have a voice teacher and she absolutely loves Karen Carpenter's voice. She says that Karen Carpenter is her favorite singer of all time. So we're going to check out some Carpenters today. Before we begin, make sure to do those very important things. Smash those buttons right down below and make sure to stay till the end for some original content. Let's listen to some music, shall we? So we're going to check out a song called We've Only Just Begun. Let's begin. Real talk. I think I've heard the song before. My mom would sometimes listen to the Carpenters. But this time I'm listening as an adult with, uh, with just, you know, different musical awareness. Here we go. I believe that's Karen and her brother. We've only just begun to live White lace and promises A kiss for luck and we're on our way We've only begun Ooh, listen to those harmonies. Love the tambourine. Watching the signs along the way. Talking it all key changes. Nice. Working together day to day. Together. It's so interesting seeing her in this outfit, right? It's so interesting seeing her in this outfit. I, I don't know a lot about the Carpenters. I know that they were siblings. She is a drummer, I believe, and her brother, let me know in the comment section if he played guitar or keys. Um, but I've also read that Karen Carpenter had a really, really extreme eating disorder, which is what um, I think, which is ultimately what made her very sick and uh, why she lost her life at a very young age. But it's interesting seeing her in this very proper white dress. And she even says in the beginning something about white lace. It almost seems like, let me know in the comment section if you agree or not, if they're trying to market her as like a really young, innocent girl. Like she's not really a woman, even though she clearly is a woman. She looks like a woman. She looks like an adult woman. And yet there's something about the branding, about the marketing, where they're really confining and constricting um, just her image. Okay, let's get back to it. Talking too much. And when the evening comes, we smile. Great harmonies. So much of life We'll find a place for this room to grow. And yes, we've just begun. Sharing he changes so cool. Watching the signs along the way. together 
together And when the evening comes We smile So much of life ahead We'll find a place where there's room to grow And yes, we've just begun Drum sounds so good. Mm, strings. Gosh, where do I start? I mean, musically, the song... Musically, it is a beautiful, such a lovely song. And it also shows how much our culture has changed and how much our musical taste has changed. Like there were multiple key changes in the song. I'm sure you picked up on a lot of those changes, whether you know subconsciously or consciously but you rarely hear that many key changes in pop music nowadays. And I'm, I'm gonna assume that this was a, uh, like a studio recording and then they're overdubbing all of the vocals, but still, like all the harmony blends, it's just, it's just so beautiful. I think it says a lot about the musicianship and how much time they had to spend together to get their voices to lock to actually lock in and blend like that. Nowadays, we use technology, we can use auto-tune, we can tune everyone's vocals so that they're in harmony. But back then, you actually had to get on the same, like, you had to actually be uh, on the same, you know when people say, oh, it's the vibe, it's the vibe. I mean, they literally are vibing to each other where when they're in the studio and they have to get locked in in terms of rhythm and in terms of pitch and in terms of just the energy of the song. So already I have so much, so much respect for all the musicians on the stage and you know anyone that's involved in the recording of this track. And y'all know, y'all know I gotta look at these lyrics because I'm a songwriter and I appreciate great music, great melodies, great lyrics. Okay, this says, uh, Song by Carpenters and Royal Phil Harmonic Orchestra, which makes sense. We definitely heard an orchestra in that recording. Okay, here's the first verse. We've only just begun to live. White lace and promises. A kiss for luck, and we're on our way. We've only begun. Isn't that just so right? The beginning is so innocent and lovely. Excuse me. Pardon me. Before the rising sun, we fly. So many roads to choose. We'll start out walking and learn to run. And yes, we've just begun. Sharing horizons that are new to us. Watching the signs along the way. Talking it over, just the two of us. Working together, day to day, together. These lyrics are so, these lyrics are just so wholesome. They're so wholesome. I can hear a song like this in a musical or a movie. Let me know in the comments if it was in a musical or a movie. And when the evening comes, we smile. So much of life ahead. We'll find a place where there's room to grow. And yes, we've just begun. Okay, and it looks like the chorus repeats again and the verse repeats again. I mean, these lyrics are fairly simple. The message is very, uh, it's very sweet, very innocent, very inspiring. What makes the song so interesting are all the chord changes, in my opinion. The chord changes... Obviously, Karen Carpenter's just beautiful, smooth vocal and all of the harmonies. I thought the harmonies were really, really well done. 
Oh, okay. And at the bottom here, it looks like there's two songwriters, Paul Williams and Roger Nichols. So it looks like, uh, yeah, these two guys wrote this uh, the song and the Carpenters were the recording artist along with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. Amazing. Thank you so much for checking out this reaction video and for spending some time together. If you have any facts, any info about the Carpenters that you want to drop, if you have another request, either for another Carpenter song or for another artist that you want me to check out, you know where to put that information. Karen Carpenter's voice is so, just so smooth, it's so lovely. And I really have to separate, I really have to separate some of the stories that I've heard about her from the music. Otherwise, I get sad. And I find it just so amazing that the songs that I have heard from the Carpenters, there's just so much beauty in her voice and in the music. I think the music is so lovely. Like this song was just such a, such a beautiful song with all the, the intricate melodies. Um, I think it's a testament of what an incredible artist she was that she had the sadness in her soul and yet she was able to channel her joy and her love for music right into her fan base. Rest in peace, Karen Carpenter. Yeah, God bless you for all of these uh, beautiful songs. Okay, on that note, be healthy, be blessed, and until next time. Where do lonely hearts